grace, comfort, firepower. No other clan produces battle mechs to the standard set by Clan Diamond Shark. Since its founding in the days of Kerinsky, Clan Diamond Shark has led the clans in both cutting-edge battle technology and innovative manufacturing process. We provide the very best for those with an appetite for destruction and a wallet deep enough to sate it. We've listened to your feedback, heard what you, our loyal customers, want to see. Our engineers have worked tirelessly to meet your needs, striking the balance between sophistication, class, and the firepower to eliminate your enemies not smart enough to surrender at your patrol. Today we change the game yet again and unveil our latest design, an achievement that raises the bar for everything that makes battle mechs great. We present to you the Mad Cat 3. Clan Diamond Shark had just come off with a successful assault mech design with the Mad Cat Mark II. After making Seabill's handover actuator, the Diamond Shark engineers began a new endeavor in taking the classic Timberwolf design, once again, and slimming it down into a medium-sized mech. The initial idea was that this new medium-sized Mad Cat would run in conjunction with the Heavy and Assault Mad Cats as its escort. And to top it off, Clan Diamond Shark was going to make it available to both customers in the Inner Sphere and the clans. This did not go over very well. In fact, the majority of the clans rebuked this design and gave what I call probably the best product review I'd ever read in Battletech lore. It's an outrage against everything Nicholas Kerensky stood for and taught us. Despite being adopted by the Novacats and the exiled Clan Wolf factions, the Mad Cat 3 actually has become very popular with the factions of the Inner Sphere. Virtually every house and every major player in the Inner Sphere takes them. The standard Mad Cat 3 is equipped with twin LRM 20s, two ER medium lasers, and six ER micro lasers. I assume those are there to perform precision surgery up close and personal with an enemy mech. In Alpha Strike, this spicy little missile boat plays hard and hits hard at 5 damage at short range and 4 damage at both medium and long, which makes it a solid choice to take in your force. However, at 44 points, you're only one point away from having the same cost as a Highlander 732. Pricey, but worth it in my opinion. In Classic Battletech, it shouldn't be that hard to figure out how to utilize this mech. Shoot the LRMs, shoot the ER mediums, and if they close the gap and get real close, try not to have a code brown in your cockpit and hit them with that swarm of micro lasers. The miniature for the Mad Cat 3 wasn't that hard to put together. Again, since it's metal, you'll need to pin certain parts together and use super glue. And while there wasn't any major mold lines or flashing that really need to be addressed, I do think the mech resembles its Mech Warrior Dark Age many more closely than the art that's provided in the technical readout. And speaking of the technical readout, you'll find this gem in technical readouts prototypes and the record sheets in record sheets Mech Warrior Dark Age, although other variants can be found in record sheets 3145 new tech and new upgrades. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to help the channel grow, just share the video with a friend or a Facebook group or something like that. Hit the like button or subscribe. Smaller channels like mine thrive on word of mouth. So letting a friend know, it's a big help.